Today on Always Hungry, Tippers Puppet. Tippers Puppet. Tippers, 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 Tippers Puppet. Tippers, puppet, tippers, puppet. We're making some seared scallop with a spicy eggplant puree. Let's go. First step, eggplant puree. So for this, I'm gonna roast these eggplants right on the fire. There you go, like this. So you just keep turning these around the whole time. You wanna really get a nice char all over the place. Oh yeah. These things don't take much time to, uh, to cook on an open fire like this. And the good part we like to do, we'll get there, but like when we're gonna blend this puree in the blender, I always put a bit of the, of the burnt skin to uh, give like this uh, nice little char flavor to the puree. So it's gonna get in like nice little black dots in the puree, which should be nice visually, but also in my belly. So we can do a little, one more flip. See when it's, when it's kind of like almost like hard to handle because it's like too soft. That means we're pretty much there. Maybe one more minute on this side and we're good to go. See, it's super soft. Okay, these are good to go. And now we're gonna put these in a bowl like this. Kind of like what you do with uh, roasted peppers, bell peppers. We'll just put these in there to steam. And this will take uh, maybe five minutes and then we'll be able to get the skin off. It wouldn't be a spicy eggplant puree without some heat. So we have two beautiful chili peppers here. We're gonna place those right on the grill. Same thing as the eggplant, roast these, take the skin off and incorporate those to the puree. It's gonna give it a nice little kick. Make sure it's all nice and black on this side, on this side. And these are good to go. Boom. I'm just gonna add these to my bowl right now. Get a little steaming party going. Boom, steamers. Okay. So our eggplants and our peppers have been steaming for like 10 minutes in there. It's probably still very hot, but you know what? I ain't scared. So we'll take these out. Boom, start with the eggplant. Can even keep that little juice at the bottom there for the puree. It's good stuff. See how they're fucking steaming hot. Woo! Steamers. Tip off, tip off, and then we can just cut these in half before it gets better. There you go, there you go. See how easy that is? You see that little caramelization on the inside there? It's gonna be extra flavor. See, it's that easy, guys. That easy. All right, these are good to go. Eggplants on the side. Next, we have our chili peppers. This can go on the side, I'll probably keep the juice, maybe not, we'll see. Same thing, you can just scrape it off like this. See, so easy, guys. You can get some seeds out if you want to. Little seeds out, see, that's good. Keep some, it's okay. I like the little kick. It's not the spiciest peppers anyways. And here we go. Okay, this on the side, and next step is the blender. Okay, time to blend. Eggplant, chilies in there. And now that little juice from our bowl goes in there. All right, so to this, we're gonna add some tahini, which is sesame paste. Now it's always kind of like splitting like this, so we're gonna put some some of that oil in there. Gets a bit of a chunk of paste like this. And some oil as well, like this. It's powerful stuff, so don't put too much. Next up, we're gonna put some lemon in there, some zest and some juice to kind of like brighten things up. So we're just gonna put some zest first, like this. I got these beautiful ones from uh, the Amalfi Coast because they're very, very fragrant. It'd be a nice little touch in our puree. God, makes me want to drink a Vesper Martini so much. I'm doing 30, 30 days sober, guys. And it's gonna be uh, not easy, because I like my drinks. It's day three right now. And this is making me really want to drink something. Next step, we're gonna cut this in half, like this. Take this thing off. Maybe I'll start with one half of a lemon for the juice to start. And I can always add some more if I need more, good? Uh, next, we're gonna add some olive oil, obviously. The best in the world, you already know. Olive oil in there, some black pepper. Touch of salt. Just a small dash of maple syrup. A bit of sweetness in there. At this point, we're just gonna blitz this up and check the seasoning. So let's go. Okay, puree is good to go. Put this aside, blender done. So we can put the puree aside for now. I'll probably just keep it in this little container and I want to serve it kind of room temp, not too hot, 
not too cold. Spicy, tangy, little sweetness, little smokiness from the char. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful thing, guys. It's gonna pair perfectly with our beautiful seared scallops. Next up, we're gonna make a beautiful green oil using some chives. I have some green onions. We're only gonna use the greens and some parsley for some nice little freshness. So we're just gonna blend these in boiling water for like 10 seconds and then we're gonna scoop those out in the blender with some oil and let it uh, drip in a cheesecloth or a paper towel. So yeah, we're gonna bring this to a boil. While this is going, I'm just gonna pick up some leaves of this parsley here. I don't need that much to be honest. I, wanna, I want to be more strong on the onion flavor than the parsley. That should be even good to be honest. Not too many stems in there, just the leaves as possible. Okay, good. And then we're also gonna add some chives. Just because it's a long one, I can probably just cut this here. And the green of these green onions. There you go, that should be good. Okay, water is boiling, perfect. Now I'm gonna dip these onions first because they're a bit larger than the chives and the parsley. But it's gonna be really quick, like 10 seconds maybe. Parsley in. There you go. And now the chives. Voila. And then we're gonna shock these in ice water to stop the cooking process, to keep that green, bright color. And that's good to go. Voila. Okay, so we're gonna strain our greens out of there. And now what you wanna do is really squeeze a maximum of water out of your herbs. So just go with your hands and squeeze, see all that water? You don't want that in there. So squeeze, kind of like spinach, you know? Squeeze that juice. And you're left with this beautiful tight ball of blanched herbs like this. Okay, blender's back in the game, baby. The herb ball in there. I'm gonna put some oil in there. You can always add some more afterwards, but we're gonna start with this. We just blitz. Woo! At this point, you can just do kind of a bit of a scrape off. Kind of like make sure you got everything in there. Good to go. All right. Now, to strain this oil into strainer, obviously, and also you can either use cheesecloth, which will be better than this, but I only have a paper towel. We'll just put it in there. And now you know, I'm gonna go full uh, full rustic here with the thing holding on the pepper mill. It's fine, it's working. And we're just gonna pour this right in there. And then we'll end up with just the nice bright green oil. Okay, almost done. We have two more steps. The scallops and the baby bok choy. I was gonna sear those in the pan, but you know what? Fuck it, we'll do it on the grill. But first, I'm gonna cut these like this, just in half. See, beautiful, beautiful. So for these, we'll just go a bit of olive oil. So I'm just gonna hit these with a bit of salt. And make sure you clean your bug charges. Sometimes you can find some little, some little bugs in there. Okay, all right, let's check out these baby bok choy. These are actually good to go. This, I like those nice and crunched, so don't, don't go too crazy on the cook there, okay? And they're gonna keep cooking in there, they're gonna steam with their buddies on the plate, and they're gonna be perfect. Okay, now, back to the scallops. Bit of olive oil in there, perfect. Massage, massage, massage. Flip, flip, flip. Beautiful. I wouldn't put any oil if it was going in the pan, but now we're gonna put it on the grill, so make sure they don't stick. Salt, be generous on the salt. Doesn't help build your beautiful crust. We might even cook them on only one side, we'll see. You want really a hard sear on there, you know? Because if you don't hard sear the scallops, they're gonna start boiling and you, you never get that beautiful crust that everyone wants to see, you know? That clickbait kind of sear. So we'll just do a bit of a flippy like this. Get a nice square. Now at this point, what you could do is add some butter. 
I mean, come on, guys. Wow, look at this. Look at this cross, guys. These are good to go. We can take these out. Beautiful, but these are our bug choy for now. Nice little cross on there, guys. Okay, time to plate, baby. Let's do this. So we're gonna do puree first. So we'll just go simple. I like to do puree in the middle. We'll do three scoops like this. And then with this here, again, have some fun, you know? Just go bok choy here, do a little scallop there. Do a little scallop on the side of here too. Green oil is gonna go just around it like this. Bit more here and then some on top as well. And here you have it guys. Scallops, bok choy, spicy eggplant puree. What else do you need? And now finally for my favorite part of all the videos, it's tasting time. And do a bit of bok choy here, bok choy there. And do a bit of scallop on the side too. This one looks very nice. Puree on top, some oil. Here we go. Mm. 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 This is so fucking fire. The spiciness and the, the puree, a little lemon in there. Nice little green oil, bring some freshness too. Mm. Mm -mm. And here you have it. Seared scallop, grilled bok choy, spicy eggplant puree, green oil. What else do you need? If you like a recipe and an episode, you know what to do. Go leave a comment, like this video, subscribe, all that stuff. And we'll see you on the next episode of Always Hungry.